गाइस वेलकम टू फॉर इडियट्स रिएक्ट दिस इज सुफियान फ्रॉम इंडिया नमस्ते व्हाट डू यू से इन ओके द ब्रो बजा दूसरा ओ नाइस ऑलमोस्ट ऑलमोस्ट देयर सुफियान यू ऑलमोस्ट देयर वेलकम सुफियान 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 Hi guys, this is Daniel from Kazakhstan. Salam, dostlar. Salamlar. Добро пожаловать, друзья. This was in my native language this time. And today we're reacting to the best country in the world, Kazakhstan. <laughs> yeah. Don't no yeah. offend, guys. No Orient Orient guy is like uh, doing a petition on uh, yes. each of us to react to geography now each country. So we are here finally. We are here to satisfy your yes. uh, satisfy you. you. We are signing we are your petition. To satisfy you. Orient. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a slogan from something that we shouldn't talk about. Okay. Alright guys, are you ready to witness the greatness? Yes, uh, we let's, are. Let's go. 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 Guys, no, I'm not gonna do a Borat impression. Okay, that movie didn't even have a single Kazakh person in it. They filmed the Kazakh stuff exactly. in the Gypsy Village yeah, version. Yeah, exactly. Sasha Baron Cohen was speaking Hebrew half the time. It did, however, boost their tourism by like tenfold. So there's that. <laughs> It's time to learn geography. No! Hey everyone, I'm your host Barbs. Today we cover our first Central Asian country. Uh, well, I mean, doesn't Afghanistan kind of count? <laughs> doesn't Afghanistan count? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kazakhstan is cool because it's like the country that melts both Europe and East Asia together in a very unique way. You can even kind of tell just by looking at the people. It's like they look kind of Asian, but then you're not sure because some of them have like light Caucasian features. I feel you, Kazakhstan. I've been getting that my whole life. And how did it all happen? Yeah, well, it's partly Mexico. due to the locations that they visit. When I was in the US, that's what they did. Now, Turkey may be the bridge between Europe and Asia, if you consider the Middle East Asia, but Kazakhstan is like the bridge between Europe and East Asia. First of all, Kazakhstan is located in Central Asia, surrounded by five other countries. So close to Mongolia, but a 20 mile wide corridor separates them, with a coast on the northeast sides of the Caspian Sea, where their only seaport, Aktau, is located. It is the world's largest landlocked country, ninth largest in the world, by only one million square kilometers. Like, seriously, the country's distance is like the same from London to Istanbul. Oh Speaking of which, the longest road in Europe, the E40, extends over 5,300 miles, all the way from Calais, France to Ritter, Kazakhstan. <laughs> The country is divided into 14 regions, or Oblistar, with the capital Astana, located in the Akmola region. Nonetheless, Almaty in the south is actually the largest city, with Skimkent rounding out number three. And all three of these cities have the busiest airports in Kazakhstan. Now, Kazakhstan was part of the former USSR prior to independence, so you see kind of like leftover disputes when it comes to territorial anomalies. Basically, it kind of went like this. Hello, I'm Gorbachev, and all you republics are relinquished from the USSR, which is not the USSR anymore, but just plain Russia. Oh, and it's the year 1990. Okay, but we have like mixed up communities. Where do we draw the border? You wanted this, you figured it out. <laughs> the Kyrgyzstan episode is going to be so fun, I promise. In the Caspian Sea, Kazakhstan has a little dispute with Russia over the Marshi Ukatni Island, as well as the Jeski and Malijem Chushni sandbanks, known for being located above an offshore oil producing zone. Then we have that little dispute with Uzbekistan okay. over the Bozorozhdenia Island, which is now a peninsula due to the drying up of the Aral Sea. The only other strange territorial anomaly would probably be the famous Baikonur yeah. Cosmodrome. This is the site where the first launch of the first satellite Sputnik and the first man oh, warmer by Yuri. Yeah, happened. This place is leased to Russia until 2050, and today you will need a Russian visa if you want to visit, unless you're lucky enough to score a guided tour. Yeah, in 1991, really? the Russians were like, All right, Kazakhstan, you are your own country now. No more USSR. You're free. <laughs> wow. I get my own space, the Caspian Sea, the mines, the mineral fields, the grassland. Yeah, oh, so look, much the space station. That's still mine. That's still mine. That's still mine. Okay, good. fine. But remember, you do owe me from all that nuclear testing we're doing on the east side. Yeah, now it's like so the sad. most radioactive thing that's on the so planet. Sad. Other things? Look it up. I mean, when they built it, they didn't realize Kazakhstan would eventually secede, so yeah. Nonetheless, there are over 27,000 ancient monuments throughout Kazakhstan. Places of interest might include things like the Monument of Independence, the Pyramid of Peace and Harmony, like the Isik Burial Mound with the Golden Man, the Soyuz 11 Memorial, Khan Shatter, the tallest yeah, tent in the world, one. Baiterek Tower, Medu, the world's this highest skating like rink, Ascension Cathedral, <laughs> Aristan Bab Mausoleum, the National Museum of Kazakhstan, the Museum of Folk Music, Fountain Circus, Koktrobe Hill Recreational Center with rides and attractions, and a Beatles Monument. Nur Astana yeah. Mosque and the Triumphal oh, Arch of Mongolic yeah, End, but just don't go to Semi Palatinsk, it's like worse than Chernobyl. Yeah, that was a hard blow to their land. Don't go there, guys. It's like pretty majestic. Oh Which one? Oh There's like radioactive. Yeah. Kazakhstan's landscape is kind of like an alternate universe Twilight Zone version of Mongolia. It's like kind of similar, but there's something a little off. 
First of all, the country is generally flat with massive steppes and plains like the Caspian Depression, the Turgay Valley, and the Kazakh uplands, which compose the majority of the country's land makeup. In the east and southeast, you get the mountains along the Altai and Tian Shan ranges, the highest mountain being Khan Tengri, which again is like the Roraima of Central Asia as it acts as a tri-point border between them, China, and Kyrgyzstan. I don't know why China even bothered with it though. It's like, come on, you already have like half of Mount Everest. Why take parts of other countries' tallest peaks? I know, right? Otherwise, numerous rivers cross the country, the longest one one being the Irtish River, which flows through the northeast, shared with Russia and China, dangerously close to the radioactive fallout. How many times have you mentioned that? Oh, but the is more enough. as it passes through the Astana. Then you get the strange That's largest lake, Bahadash, because the western half of it is Bahadash. fresh water and the east is salt water. Strange, huh? And that's not even half the strange. Then you have things like the Valley of Balls. <laughs> <laughs> A strange spherical eroded boulders averaging around three to four meters wide. You have this strange oh gorge, 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 the Kamali Gorge, Charden Canyon, this oh actually talk about yeah. the yeah. drying Aral Sea. It was made by diverting yeah, water in the former Soviet times. And now you can see a strange post apocalyptic setting with rusting abandoned ships and sea vessels in a dry grassland as Bactrian camels graze quietly in the distance. By the way, if you're a part of an alternative rock band, this is like the perfect place to make a location shoot for an album cover. Are anyway, Kazakhstan is loaded with natural. Yes, finally. Elements on the periodic table can be found mined in Kazakhstan. Yes. They take 12th place in oil reserves oh, and they are in the top 20 of gas reserves, wow. most of which center around the 970 square mile Tengiz oil field, which is one of the largest in the world, making it the country's largest export oil, which in return makes them the largest economy in Central Asia as they hold about 60% of the entire region's GDP. Wildlife is actually quite prevalent. You have bulls, gray herons, bats, pygmy cormorants, wolves, foxes, stoats, marble, pole cats, saiga antelopes, the two national animals, the snow leopard, oh and the Golden step Our, the horse is probably the most important. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The horse is probably first domesticated in Kazakhstan. Kazakh. Yeah, debatable. The horse also plays into food. There's a joke that Kazakhs are the second largest meat eaters in the world. The first being <laughs> the first ah. yeah. challenge accepted. Oh, yeah. The national yeah. dish being beshbarmak, literally okay. translated yeah. as yeah. a yeah. finger. Yeah. It's yeah. supposed yeah. to be their hands. Yeah. Noodles with horse meat on top. Oh, yes, yeah. they eat horse meat. Not all of it was horse meat. You do not eat the horse meat. Stop copying me. It's also said that apples are rich in Kazakhstan, oh, okay. the name of the city yes. Amati it actually translates to the place, place of many uh, apples. You can even find many wild apple trees in forests yeah, all across strong. Kazakhstan. Otherwise, Kazakhstan does pretty well at staying afloat. I mean, they became the first former Soviet nation to receive a positive global investment ranking in 2002. They paid off all their debt to the IMF. Nonetheless, all that forward moving does come with a little bit of backstory and a tincture of controversy, which brings us to... Now, I personally love meeting ethnic Kazakh people because I feel like they could totally pass as my siblings that were separated from me at birth. It's weird, they've got just that beautiful mixture of Asian and Europe. Thank First you. of all, the country has about 18.1 million people and has about six people per square kilometer. So the country is about 60% ethnically Kazakh, whereas about 20% are Russians, and the rest are made up of other groups, mostly Turkic peoples like Uzbeks, Uyghurs, and other groups like Chechens, Ukrainians, Tartars, and Tartar, it's a song. It's a Tartar. Tartar. Their currency, they use the Type C plug out and they drive on the right side of the road. Now let's talk about the largest indigenous people group. What exactly is a Kazakh? Well, today that question is a lot harder to answer than what it may have been a thousand years ago. In the shortest way, Kazakhs are classified as a Turkic people group, not Turkish, Turkic, there's a difference, in which they share the same linguistic structure as many other countries and people groups across Asia and Europe. I found this video hosted by Aisulu from the channel Hilo Team, which they do a great job explaining. Check it out. А казахи – это кипчакские тёрки. Кипчакские тёрки остались в Азии, а угурские тёрки мигрировали в Анатолию. Okay. Кипчакские тёрки подвергались монгольскому нашествию. So <laughs> казахи выглядят как китайцы, проповедующие ислам и разговаривающие на русском языке. Awesome video, right? This creates a whole new unique kind of populace that looks like an entire nation of biracials. Kind of like what happened with Brazil with the particle people. Nonetheless, most of Kazakhstan is kind of actually at a cultural crossroads. More people speak Russian than the actual native Kazakh language. Stop lying! It's not true! Nonetheless, the president, Nursultan Nazarbayev, who has been the president since the beginning, and has been controversy, like he held the staff election in 2015 after being accused of human rights violations, just announced that in the next few years, Kazakhstan will be switching over from using the Cyrillic alphabet to the Latin one. Some saying this being a subtle move to Kazakhify their country. 
Wait, what did you say about the president? Eh, just look it up, we don't have time. As a Turkic country, Kazakhs are related to and can kind of understand the speech of yes. their other Turkic Turkish neighbors that extend as far as the frozen Arctic tundras of Northeast Russia to the Black Sea with Turkey and the Gagalus people in that strange autonomous unit in Moldova. Yeah. Moldova is gonna be a fun episode, trust me. It's like a place where people don't care if everything is burning to the ground. They just dance through it. Anyway, obviously we don't have time That's to get into cool. the full history of right, Kazakhstan, but the quickest Moldova. way I can put it, Scythians, Turkic-speaking Mongol tribes arrive, Huns invade, Arabic Karakhani, Turkic come in and introduce Islam, tribal powers fight for control, Kittians invade, Timur Ilen builds an empire, Kazakhs break away from the Uzbek Khanate, Zungar people invade, Russians come in and help, then the Russians kind of take over and rule them, Khan Kene revolts against Russians unsuccessfully, tons of new Russians and Ukrainians flock in to work, Kazakhs resist military draft in World War One. they become an autonomous republic in the USSR, Russian influence for decades, independence in 1991, hey, boom, hey. tons of new Kazakhs migrate back to Kazakhstan and ethnic Russians move out, making Kazakhs a majority in their own country again, Nazarbayev becomes their only president, a bunch of oil gas pipeline controversy, and here we are today. Now when it comes to culture, Kazakhstan is quite unique. For one, the majority at around 64% identify at least nominally as Muslim. However, in 1990, President Nazarbayev actually created a separate mufia for the Kazakh Muslims. He forbade religious political parties and removed Kazakhstan from the authority of the Muslim Board of Central Asia. This decreed Kazakhstan as a secular state, even though the government kind of puts strict control on all religious communities. This makes Kazakhstan the only Central Asian country whose constitution does not assign special status to Islam. And apart from certain areas with mosques, you wouldn't even really notice it too much, especially in the booming cities. This is because Kazakhstan's culture is way more Turkic and Mongol derived than stereotypical Middle East Arab Muslim derived. There are people of wanderers, nomads, some people even still live in Turks in the countryside. Oh, jeez, but again! During celebrations, you can see people wearing traditional costumes, playing traditional step folk music. By the way, they celebrate three different New Year's, Gregorian, Naris, no, and the they, 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 they have why. so many horse-related festivals and games, <laughs> like pick up the napkin and steal the woman on a horse and if you can't, she's going to be with the whip game. Aside from all that, Kazakhs are known for excelling in sports like weightlifting, cycling, yeah, and so Olympic, Some notable cool. people from Kazakhstan might include people like cyclist Alexandre Vinokurov, Sabina Altinbekova, Timur oh, Bekmanbetov, yeah. Gennady Golovkin, oh, Denis Ten, oh, Abai Kunabayuli, oh, Ken oh, Alibek, Abilai Khan, Olja Sulemenov, Marat Shambayev, and Shukran Kutalko. At least those are the right. people you guys, the Kazakh oh, geographers, oh, oh, mentioned to me. I literally have no idea who most of people So basically, with Kazakhstan, you get this strange land of East Asian European mixed kind of not only Muslim people that speak Russian that love to ride and eat horses. <laughs> yeah, sounds like people I'd hang with, and let's find out who else thinks the same thing. <laughs> Kazakhstan is like the kingpin big brother of Central Asia. Hey. If you want to talk to any of the other former hey. Soviet republics, you usually got to start here first. Now, they generally get along with other Turkic and Russian-speaking countries. However, Central Asia is kind of like the Balkans, which it's like a family with a bit of dysfunction. Turkmenistan is like the angry brother that isolates himself, and Uzbekistan is like the angry brother that argues with all the other brothers. Kyrgyzstan is like the little brother that they love, but they keep asking them for money. Tajikistan is like the distant <laughs> cousin that speaks a Persian-based language. Turkey, Mongolia, and South Korea are like far away distant close friends that share the same Turkic and Mongolian oh, yeah, history nice. and culture as well. They've established great trade deals. Tons of Koreans seem to love moving to Kazakhstan. The U.S. was the first place to recognize them as a state after independence, and they've been jumping in on investments. But when it comes to their best friends, most Kazakh people I've talked to have said, Russia. Although certain seasons of controversy have existed, overall, Russia has not only been close in customs unions, they and Belarus share a free trade agreement, but in almost every other level of diplomacy, they get along well. They both speak Russian, they both love Russian food and TV shows, and even though Kazakhstan is trying to wean itself off the Russian influence to research a more Kazakh identity, now they can't help but cling on to certain aspects you know, that are so deeply more. ingrained in their history from the Russians. In conclusion, Kazakhstan is a country that is full of East Asian mixed force loving Muslim identified <laughs> Russian speaking government countries diversifying but moving forward with resource extracting country. That was a fun episode. Kazakh can stand all the wonderful <laughs> info learned. Can't you? That was so horrible. That was I think that's the worst pun I've ever made in this entire series. Stay tuned. Kenya is coming up next. Kenya. Wow. That was wow. a lot. Oh my god. That was very really chaotic, you know. <laughs> I didn't know about this horse. What is this horse yeah, thing? So is it the meat? So basically, the, okay, let's go back to history. So our, we were nomads. We always used to like travel from one place to another. We didn't have all this, this permanent place that we used to stay at. And most of the countries that we were traveling to were cold countries. And it, it's in those cold countries, it's hard to like replenish yourself with enough protein. Yeah. So what they would do is they would eat horses just to have enough protein to oh, okay. travel and stuff. So yeah, people eat horses. 
Yeah, it's it's kind of like a traditional delicacy of ours. Mm -hmm. But personally, like me and my family, we don't eat so much. Mm -hmm. And my, my mother is not Kazakh as well. She's actually Tatar, which was, that nationality was mentioned there as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So Tatar is but outside Kazakhstan? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's in Russia. It's an autonomous country that's in Russia. But okay. they're also majority, are Muslims. Okay. Okay. Kind of like Chechen Republic, if you guys know. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So yeah, if you guys want to eat some horse, yeah. I, I got you. <laughs> no, no, I have <laughs> tried it actually. I tried it yeah. in multicultural yeah, festival yeah, well, in our so university. But it wasn't, that wasn't good, it was oh too dry. Oh, yeah. so it yeah. was very like, salty, it, was dry it actually salty. tasted like beef, kind of. Yeah. But it was yeah. salty, like salty yeah. it beef. It wasn't good quality. It, wasn't it was quality. kind of like roasted beef that had an, over an extra salt on it. That's it. <laughs> Yeah. So for our Norway, so, for so our guys, 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 guys. Wait, there was also a part where they say you guys eat a lot of meat like after wolves. After wolves, you're the second. Yeah, again, because they, of no, no you, guys, stuff. you guys call yourself like the most meat eating yeah. people after wolves. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what, which city is the best? Like Astana, word, and there, there was this other name of Almaty. City of Mayor uh, Apples, like where yeah. the apples originated. Yeah, that's, that's where I'm currently living in right now. And the third one is Shimkent. This is my name. The place where I moved out from, where right. I live the majority of my life. And so, if suppose someone from our subscribers yes. wants yes. to go to Kazakhstan, what 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 are the two three cities you like? Definitely, guys, the three like best cities in Kazakhstan in terms of nature, mall, entertainment, all this is Almaty, Astana, which is the capital, Almaty, and uh, Shymkent is the third one where I moved out from. So you are saying in uh, Shimkent and Shimkent. then I moved to Almaty. Do you prefer Almaty or? The thing is that, of course, like Shimkent because I lived majority yeah. of my life there. You know, I have all no, my. No, no, Almaty uh, or Astana. Almaty because Astana is too, too cold, and when yeah. it's cold there, it's minus thirty and it's a wind. Oh my god, minus thirty. Huge 30? wind is blowing. It's really freezing to minus do. 30? And also one more thing, in like our universities and colleges, uh, med medical universities, we have a lot of Indian students. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Even, even when I went to Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw a lot of Indian medical students. So yes. I have heard that a lot of Indians go to Soviet Union countries yeah, yeah, to yeah, study yeah, to study medicine. Actually, they do, they do. actually, I, uh, because I feel in India it's pretty expensive, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and as compared to India, uh, Soviet Union countries have, have like like it's cheaper than the yeah, yeah, but the quality of education must be it's great. That's why people are going. People, sure. and that's why people are going. And they like it's it's in English and it's in Russian, yeah. and also they get to learn like. Of course, they already know English and then they and add then another I language, you know. So yeah. I think these two cities are the best I would like to visit. Minus 30? I've never been, I've never seen snowfall in my life. Really? So like, I want to go where I freeze yeah. to oh death. Oh my god, god. you guys are missing out. Yeah. 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 They're like deprived. Yeah. 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 Literally. Literally. I such a like, I amazing thing. I really want to go. Minus 30 is like, I would want to yeah. go there and freeze to death. There's no snowfall in any part of Pakistan. No, there is in the north, but we don't go there. You have never? No, we've never been there. That's sad. Anyways, guys, I'm inviting you all. Yeah, so I'm sending you the invitation okay, right now. We're gonna come to your house. Come to my house. Eat, eat some horse. Some, no, we will not. I <laughs> don't know about that. I will. I can ride the horse, but I will not. No, but you horse. have to ride it. Then you have to eat it. Oh, and I want to stay in the yurt where like oh, your yes, tent, the yes, Kazakh yes, tent yes, style, and then eat on tent. the floor. Like we're gonna eat there. Yeah. Yeah. But I cannot yeah. wrap my head around the fact that there is six people in one square <laughs> kilometer. Like, they have a lot of space. It says the houses such must a be like huge country with such yeah. less population. You know, by the way, 16 million? It's, it's 19 now. 19, but still 19 less. and 18 million is the city. Karachi only has 18 million. No, no you notice it a lot. It's like when country. you walk in the streets, like the house, the one house is so far away from another house. There's, there, we don't have situ the situation like here, like shop after shop, yeah, shop like after shop. Yeah. There's no shops that are beside each other. There's always some space in between them. Like a playground. Mm, like yeah. <laughs> like you can play cricket, you know, then you can go to another place. Yeah, and then we have Marina. I think like there's one million people only in one area. Marina and everywhere, it's like so packed. Everything is so packed. There's like Dubai. building, 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 yeah, building, yeah. Supermarket. <laughs> supermarket. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's I, I really like that fact actually. It's like, yeah. it's still There's like. There's a lot of space. You it's still earth. It's yeah. not like. Fitting won't be an issue. Fitting will not be an issue. That's the last of our concerns. Yes. Yes. But, anyways, guys, it was a. This was geography. Very interesting. Tell us.
let us know if you want us to react to other countries other, other yes. than our country. Since we have reacted to all yeah. of our countries. Yeah, we are interested to watch more of geography now, but let us know if you are interested to watch us react to mm -hmm. them. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Thank country? you so much. Thank you so much. This was an, an amazing uh, suggestion. Yes. 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 Or, uh, thank you, Orion, for uh, doing a petition. <laughs> if you like the video, hit the like, hit button, the like button. Comment below your suggestions. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.